Hi guys, since I've been playing a lot of the One Piece card game, I decided to get some figures to go along with my cards. First we'll start with Jewelry Bonnie. In the card game she's used to search the deck for other cards that you can use. These WCF figures are created by Van Presto. One cool thing is that the pose here is actually from this mural. This set includes a bunch of characters from Wano. Here they show the part of the picture that they're basing the pose on. Her head is unattached. <laughs> this is my first time buying one of these WCF figures, so I didn't expect it would be in pieces. <laughs> Looks like the body has a peg that slots in here. Now her head and the top of her um, cleavage <laughs> goes into the body. It doesn't slot in that easily, actually. There we go, finally. I had a hard time getting that to slot in there. All right, there she goes. In order to hold her up, we gotta plug this in here. There she is on her stand. I actually think it looks pretty good and the pose is super cool. I do see some imperfections in the plastic up here and there's a little bit of paint splashed on her hair. We can probably fix this little paint splash with some nail polish remover or paint thinner. Overall, this figure looks pretty good. It costs about six US dollars. One good thing about getting this kind of figure instead of a $15 prize figure is a lot of times these smaller figures have more interesting poses. A lot of the prize figures are just standing straight up. Another thing that I like about these smaller figures is that you can just have a bunch of them up on the shelf together and make kind of a cool scene. Here she is in comparison to a gachapon figure. Now that I think about it, actually this WCF figure cost about $6 and this little gachapon was about $6.50. So I think these WCF figures are kind of worth it in comparison. Alright, let's open up Capone next. Capone's part of this Whole Cake Island series here with Big Mom and Pudding. And here's the drawing that they're getting the pose from. Interesting, Capone pretty much comes in one piece. One piece. Alright, let's slot in this goofy gun he's got. Definitely not based on an actual rifle. But okay. Alright, there he is. He looks pretty cool to me. I don't see any problems with the paint. There's a little scratch in the plastic on the back, but yeah, this one seems pretty consistent. I like the proportions on these figures too. They they have kind of oversized heads, but they're not like full-on chibi style. In the card game, he's used as a blocker, so he can redirect an attack from the opponent, so he'll take the damage instead. Here he is in comparison with the Ray Lee Gachapon figure. Last but not least, we've got Killer. He's from the same set as Bonnie. And here's the artwork that they took the pose from. Killer comes in one piece, but his blades are separate. The paint job on this one looks pretty good. I don't see any mistakes. The blades just slot into his hand. <laughs> this is pretty awesome looking, actually. This one plugs into his butt cheek. Wow, he looks pretty cool on his stand. See, look how cool this pose is. You definitely won't get a cool pose like this with one of those prize figures. Here he is in comparison with a $20 figure of eight. In the card game, when you play killer, you can KO any card with a cost of three or lower. I'm really happy with these WCF figures. I think they strike a good balance between the size, quality, and the price. I'd definitely be interested in picking up more of these in the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to see my next video as soon as it comes out. Leave a comment and let me know what's your favorite One Piece character. One Piece out.